大家好，我是小七，我是 Priscilla。It's the last month of the year, so how's your 2018? And maybe it's a time to look back、uh, your whole year.、Uh, are you satisfied with your life? And what kind of comment you will make for your 2018? Yeah, and guess what we did? So we made a questionnaire with five questions, and we sent it out to some of our students and teachers. And now there they are. So we are going to like pick randomly the question,、yeah. the answer, and share it with you. Our first question is: What was your biggest achievement in 2018? It was a very important question, right? Yeah, I mean, more like an interview question.、Uh, so by the way, for each question, we are choose four answers, and we are going to do it like. Student, teacher, student, teacher, and student. They wrote it in English, and teacher wrote it in Chinese. Okay, so let's start from the student. Okay, let me pick one. <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me read this. I moved to Shanghai, changed working place, and went home for holidays. Hmm. I think that's a very big improvement. I mean, like because he has like left his comfort zone and moved、yeah. to another place. Yeah, I think our students、uh, moved to Shanghai this year. Most of them, so they maybe write something related to China. I think.、Mm, yeah. Okay, so let's do the teacher's part. Here we go. 没有成就 no achievement. <laughs> But that's understandable. Yeah. So if you ask this question to me, so maybe the first thing I want to say, maybe no achievement as yeah. usual. Yeah. I don't remember like、uh, whenever there is like a New Year resolution list, I、yeah. write like so many, but、yeah. they all become unresolved resolutions. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So、uh, the other one will also choose the student. Okay. Let's see what's up. Oh, the student right in Pinyin. <laughs> He said, 没有没有 Okay. <laughs> It seems like this student is taught by that teacher. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> You're right. So, let's see another teacher. Yeah. Here we go. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. 到了新的环境，学了新的东西，认识新的人。Okay, so he or she said、uh, she moved to a new environment and learned a, new,、uh, a lot of new things and to know a lot of new people. Yeah, I think that's like、mm. uh, that's great. Like to know so many new things and to experience. I think life is just about experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So,、mm, Priscilla, how about you? So, if you answer the question, <laughs> that's very hard. But. <laughs> If I got an answer like in a general way, I might、mm. say I used to think of like lots of me, my personal myself.、Mm-hmm. I would start the sentence with I, but、uh-huh. right now I'm I'm more like a listener, and I would more ask more questions like you. Oh, what about you? And what do you think? Oh, so you think more <laughs> to me? <laughs> yes. And I think like my thinking attitude changed. Okay, good. I respect this change. So yeah, for me, so I I think maybe. Um, I get up early, you know. That's a big achievement, especially in winter. Thirty, you know, in winter. So I think、uh, the morning time you get a very high quality time, so I can do a lot of things. So I think it's quite big achievement. It is. Yeah. So how about you for this questions? So second one, do you have any unfinished plan in two thousand eighteen? Mm, it's you? also a hard question, you know. I know. So I I set a lot of plans、uh, in the beginning of the year, but I, I I don't know if I finished them. <laughs> Maybe not even half. Also、yeah. for me,、mm-hmm. I feel like I want to do so many things. I want to like visit my old friend in my hometown. I want to go traveling.、Mm. I want to learn new languages. But okay, that's that excuses. <laughs> like I don't have enough time. But we are fine. This. Mm, but we can see our st- what our students say about this. Yeah,、mm-hmm. let's see. This one.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. This one is yes, I planned it. Travel to Guangzhou. Hmm, it's about traveling, right?、Mm. So I think people plan to travel,、uh, but didn't. 
do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think traveling is like um, it's more like the highlight of your life. Mm-hmm. It's like balancing your life and your work. Mm-hmm. And Guangzhou is a nice place, especially right now, like the yeah. gloomy Shanghai of winter. <laughs> yes, you should go now, really. Yeah. <laughs> hey, friend, if you are watching this, do it now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what uh, our teacher has. Okay, let's pick one from the teacher. Okay, let me see. It's Hanyu Ke Hanyu Shang Wan He Tong Yao Guo Qi Le. It's like uh, this teacher was trying to learn Korean but hasn't finished classes yet and the contract is about to expire. Okay, it's a little bit sad, but maybe you can catch the time <laughs> to yeah. learn more things. <laughs> and I think at least this teacher mm. has already started, so that's a really nice uh, beginning. So mm. please keep it up. Yeah. Okay. So let's see another student answer. Yes, write an album. Wow, so what's about music? Yeah, I think music album. That's amazing, like music talented. That that's just great. I think you need to like finish this. Yeah, I think that's very uh, talented things if you write an album. So maybe next year I expecting you write an album. And if you release it, we are buy it. <laughs> yeah, tell us. <laughs> okay, okay, I see last one. From the teacher. Wow. Quite a lot. Mm-hmm. First one, Fa Yu Mei Hao Hao Xue. We, uh, this teacher didn't mm-hmm. learn French well. Okay. Shu Mei Hao Hao Kan didn't read a lot of book. Mei Yu Cun Kuan, no deposit. Mei Qu Shanghai Zhou Bian Du You didn't travel to like Shanghai, uh, like places of interest in Shanghai. Mm. I think it's one situation is you, you didn't finish quite a lot of plans. So uh, yes, we have a lot of things we want to do, but the time is limited. So um, end of the year, when we look back, so we think we didn't finish the plan. So you need to catch up, catch a time next year. So to encourage yourself to finish the things left over. <laughs> yeah, and I think there's a good tip. That is, if you write it, for example, in the beginning of New Year, mm-hmm. it's like too long way. You need to keep it or like write it down mm-hmm. or like have a sticker on your computer so you can keep your plan fresh and you can see it every day. It might be a good way to encourage you to do it. Yes. The third question is, uh, what was the most impressive things you've experienced in 2018? I think that's also very hard. I think like especially uh, most of my friends, uh-huh. they will say, oh, that's my favorite, oh, that's my favorite. But it's very hard for me to mm. pick my favorite, like the most impressive. Yeah, true. So I'm so curious what other people, other people will say. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> we don't need to answer it. Yeah. Okay, this one yeah, is from a student. Discovering Mexico and its culture. Wow. Mexico is a nice place. I've never been there, but I also like would love to go there to have a look. Yeah, at do you notice a lot of people write something related uh, to the biggest achievement and the plan and the experiences related to travel? Yeah, so traveling, I think it's really very, mm-hmm. very, very, very nice because you're gonna see like so many culture mm-hmm. or so many things, scenery like you have never experienced before. Yeah, because they're new. So let's pick one answer from the future. Uh, like going outside when it's raining and snowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute one. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe uh, these days, in these days, it's very impressive. Right? <laughs> it's very impressive yeah. and memorable. Yes, that was very cold uh, last week, I think, last weekend. It was snowing. Mm, especially in Shanghai. Mm-hmm. Like, although the temperature is like about zero, mm-hmm. but you feel like it's like under zero. It's yeah. below zero. Because it's humid. <laughs> okay, let's see another answer. From students. Yeah. Seeing the Great Wall of China. Yeah, the students wrote opinion after that. So they study very hard. <laughs> yes. Okay, so also about the traveling, right? Mm. To see the Great Wall. Yes, I think Great Wall is it's worthwhile to say because I went. Uh, I think it's four years ago. That was amazing. 
Okay, next question. So in 2018, what's the thing that you have bought before and you feel like, oh my god, it's worth the money? Mmm, yeah, I have one actually. What um, is it? I bought an annual card for the gym. Oh, that's <laughs> I really, really great. went for several times. That's great. And also like for health, absolutely. Uh-huh. And yeah. I know that like lots of people they go there mm -hmm. like they have the card but they just like never go there. Yeah, but I did, so I think it's good. So how about you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think uh, last month mm -hmm. I bought an artificial intelligent speaker from Tianmao. Oh, that's so high tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I feel like it's so cool. I mean, like. I call it like she or her, so she feels me, okay. or maybe not feel me, but she understands me, try to understand me, mm. uh, try to understand me like my uh, music taste, mm -hmm. and she'll also like recommend mm -hmm. music for me, and she'll also like do the weather forecast, you can mm -hmm. talk to her, so it's so cool. Anyway, <laughs> this video is not sponsored by Tianbao. <laughs> oh, yes, you said the brand. Yes. Let's see what our student wrote. Mm -hmm. New shoes and clothes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <That> mean, <laughs> necessary things. Yeah, it's always worthwhile, right? Especially for a fashionable person. Oh yeah. I always yeah. spend lots of money, and my mom is always saying, "Don't buy any clothes, please." Yeah, it's maybe hundred of shoes. <laughs> But I think it's like whenever you dress pretty or dress well and the whole day you're like your mood is like so good and you're like I'm the coolest, I'm the most fashionable person in yeah. the street. Yeah, that's true. If you can afford that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see the answer from a teacher. Bought a laptop. Laptop. Yeah, computer. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's worthwhile. I feel like because it's very important, it is like very convenient to carry on mm -hmm. or like mm. for your work so that you can make money and you can buy another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone need a, a good computer, need a good laptop for work and study. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else mm -hmm. for a student. Yeah. Um, my plane ticket to China. What Oh, uh, this pin under that. <laughs> yes, and it's so cool that like mm. uh, he or she has like mm. do something like to another country and to learn the culture, to experience the culture, and to talk to people, to meet mm. locals. It's mm. so cool. Mm. I think tickets is also uh, the very important things because mm -hmm. it leads you to another place to experience new things. Mm. That's good. So let's see another. Answer from the teacher. That is, 所有吃的都值. <laughs> Everything related to food is all worthwhile. That's, That's so true. true. <laughs> yeah, I think enjoying the meal is the bigger things in our life, right? <laughs> yes. And also, like I feel like uh, more and more people they prefer to spend more money in food or like in hot pot, mm -hmm. like in all those like uh, cool snacks. Instead of it close, so this out like okay, stop stop talking about this topic. I'm hungry now. <laughs> I need to buy some good food. I'm also that kind of person. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the last question. <gasps> last one. Yeah, please use three words to describe your 2018. <laughs> That's a very like a general textbook question. <laughs> mm. But from this question, uh, we know how you uh, describe your 2018. So how's it going, right? Yeah, for me, I feel like I won't use three words, I might just use two words. That okay. is nothing special. <laughs> okay. And I feel like mm. Mm, it also it, it is also a very good thing because yeah. it means uh, nothing very tough or nothing very like sad thing happen, and mm. everything is in control, everything uh, follows the plan, and everything is on the track. Yeah, I think uh, I'm similar with you. Uh -huh. So find some uh, certain ways to develop and find an interest to pursue. So uh, I think that this, this year for me is also uh, peaceful and happy. Peace one happy, <laughs> best words in the world. Yeah, <laughs> we are full of love. Yes, yeah, that's so love. cool. Yeah, okay, so let's see uh, our students' comment about their 2018. Mm. 
new, mm -hmm. exciting, mm -hmm. adventures. Wow, that's <laughs> a good. Oh, also pin under that. <laughs> yeah, but there's also there's only one pin under new, so this student is also learning oh. the pin for exciting and adventures. Oh, okay, that's a good start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least. And um, he or she knows Xing and you yeah. know in Chinese. That's good. At least this student has like the courage mm. to face the adventures and to like um, go through it or mm -hmm. to cover it. Mm -hmm. And it's very exciting and new. That's a very nice of life. Nice way of life. Yeah. Okay. Let's see teacher's answer. The first one. Okay. First one is late, tired, mom, busy. 充实, sense of fullness. Okay, so uh, the teacher <laughs> is working hard, so yeah. Mm, that's also very mm. true. Uh, I also feel this mm -hmm. way sometimes. Mm -hmm. I feel like because of the life and the work is so packed, mm -hmm. and if you're very tired, if you're very busy in the beginning, yeah. but at the end of the day, you feel like, oh, my life is so full and I feel the sense of fullness. Mm -hmm. Especially people live in city. Right, so I uh, have a lot of work to do. Maybe some people have part-time job, mm -hmm. and some people have interest need to um, pursue in we on weekends. So quite a full life actually. But we feel good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep it up. Yeah. Keep it up. <laughs> okay. Choose another one. Yeah. Uh, student. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Busy. Mm -hmm. Humid. Mm -hmm. Experience. Okay, I think the first one, the busy and experience, and the third one, experience, they are kind of related. Like, because like he or she is so busy, is experiencing so many new things. Mm. How about humid? Humid, I think <laughs> it's because of Shanghai, the weather. Yeah, so because they answered our question <laughs> in winter, that's what was very humid, mm. right? Maybe he saw mm. her home country is mm. so dry. Mm. Uh -huh. So no. the weather, yeah, maybe the change of the weather is so impressive. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's see. T-shirts also. Okay, interesting. Chong, chong, chong. So it was the same. Poo, poo. <laughs> oh my god. I hope our boss is watching this video right now. <laughs> yes, the, because we, we make money, but we always think it's not enough to spend, right? <laughs> mm. That also makes us like full of energy to make money and to work hard. Mm. So that's our third word of 2018. And I think mm. like lots of things are also happening in the world. Lots mm. of things are happening in China mm. in 2018. Yes, uh, for example, so mm, the, the great, <laughs> the, the war. Oh, the trade war. Okay. Yes, I feel like uh, lots of my friends who are like running a business mm. or um, working in a company, mm -hmm. they feel like the, mm -hmm. the trade, the economic, it's not quite good this year. Yeah, so do you lose money? Um, I'm not making money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you didn't do any investment. No. Okay, um. so lucky you. <laughs> Please, <laughs> so I just don't have money to invest. Um, you are young. <laughs> yeah, so also, mm. uh, like the World Cup. Uh, yeah, that's the impressive things in the yeah. world, I think. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, what else? in 2018. Mm. And how about you? So if you answer the questions, what you will say? Yeah, share it with us like in the comment down below. Yeah.